Welcome back to Daily Reddit Stories. Let's start with the story. My brother's wife had an affair with their neighbor and threatened Maine to keep quiet. I exposed her with a shocking birthday gift. I'm 27 and my older brother, David, who's 33, is married to Suzanne, 35. They've been together for about four years now and tied the knot last year. Their love story is the classic work buddies turned lovers kind of deal. David just landed an awesome new job at another company, so they're in town for Thanksgiving at our parents' place. Since I had taken a couple of extra days off work, I was the first to arrive. I wanted to spend some extra time with mom and dad. David and Suzanne showed up later, and while everyone greeted them warmly, I noticed David wasn't his usual self. He looked exhausted with dark circles under his eyes and barely managed to smile. It was kind of concerning, but I didn't want to bring it up in front of everyone. I asked Suzanne if something was wrong with him, and she just shrugged it off saying they had a long trip. I was a bit worried, but decided to put it aside. I spent some time with my 11-year-old nephew, Daniel, who's growing up so fast. He was all excited about a new game he wanted to show me on his tablet. Turns out, Suzanne had given Daniel her old tablet when she got a new one from work. I was kind of surprised Daniel had his own tablet and asked him about it. We played the game together, and it was a nice distraction from the weird vibe with David. Later, Suzanne came up to take the tablet from Daniel because it was bedtime. I asked if I could borrow it to keep playing since mine was acting up. Suzanne hesitated but handed it over, telling me to make sure Daniel got it back in the morning. While I was playing, a text notification popped up. It was from someone named Chad, saying, Missing you already, I froze. Why was my nephew's tablet getting these kinds of texts? I quickly realized Suzanne's iCloud was still synced with the tablet, so all her messages were showing up there. I opened the messages app and was shocked. There were intimate conversations between Suzanne and Chad, my brother's neighbor. They'd been chatting about how Suzanne didn't love David anymore and how Chad was giving her the attention David wasn't. Their texts were filled with details about their meetings and graphic content. I felt sick to my stomach. I took screenshots of everything as evidence and then unsensed and wiped the tablet clean, not wanting Daniel to stumble across this. I barely slept that night, turning it over in my mind. At 3 a.m., I saw David downstairs watching TV. I brought him some ice cream and sat with him. We talked, and he mentioned he was stressed from work, but there was more going on. I decided to address it. I asked him if everything was okay between him and Suzanne. He admitted they were distant because he was working two jobs to keep up with their lifestyle. I wanted to tell him what I had found out, but I wasn't sure how he'd react, especially with him already struggling. I figured I'd give Suzanne a chance to come clean before I told him. Over the next few days, Suzanne kept up a facade. She didn't confess anything and seemed to be in touch with Chad frequently, which made me even more determined to act. Her birthday was coming up, so I decided it was the time to expose her if she didn't fess up. On her birthday, Suzanne was super cheerful, soaking up all the attention during the celebration. When it was time to open presents, she eagerly unwrapped a package from me. Inside was a photo album. As she flipped through it, she saw pictures of her from college, but then it hit her there was an a four-size photo of her and Chad and screenshots of their messages. The room went silent as David, mom, and dad took in the contents. Suzanne tried to close the album, but David grabbed it and went through the pages. My parents were visibly shocked. Dad asked what was going on, and I explained how I found out through Daniel's tablet and confronted Suzanne, who had threatened me and refused to confess. David, now holding Suzanne's phone, went through her texts and found more evidence. He looked devastated. Suzanne tried to make excuses, but Dad told her to leave our house. It was a relief to see Suzanne finally face the consequences of her actions. Since then, David hasn't flown back with Suzanne. He's keeping his distance from her, and Daniel is staying with us. My parents support what I did, but my grandmother later told me she disapproved, saying I shouldn't have disrupted David's marriage. I respect my grandmother a lot, and her opinion has me questioning if I did the right thing. But I stand by my decision to protect my brother and nephew from Suzanne's deceit. I would like to clarify yet again that I would have never done this had Suzanne decided to talk to my brother on her own. This is why I confronted her before exposing the truth on her birthday. I wish she would have been a better person and broke the news to him on her own, instead of trying to threaten me. As for my brother, he and I sat down to discuss everything in more detail. It was heartbreaking to see my brother break down in front of me, while telling me that he had no idea that his wife had been doing all this behind his back. He kept questioning if this had happened because he couldn't give her enough attention due to his two jobs. My heart went out to my brother, knowing how hard he worked to provide for his family. I told him that Suzanne's actions had nothing to do with him. He had always been an exemplary husband and father, and if Suzanne couldn't appreciate that, then she didn't deserve to be with him. Despite my attempts to console him, my brother remains deeply affected by the situation, repeatedly going through the photo album containing all of Suzanne's messages with Chad. I am uncertain when he plans to talk to Suzanne about it. I have decided to take a few more days off from work and consider working from my parents' place to support my brother and help take care of my nephew during this challenging time. 
For the last couple of days, Suzanne has been sending me messages that have slowly turned into more and more crazy threats. She continues to blame me for revealing her secret to my brother and the rest of the family without acknowledging any responsibility for cheating on my brother in the first place. At first, I brushed it off because it was understandable why she was angry at me, but over time, her messages have become more and more graphic where she keeps threatening to physically harm me for what I have done to her. Her messages became so vile that I was forced to show them to my parents today. My mom and dad were immediately upset and furious to read her threats. They urged me to show these messages to my brother. I hesitated, knowing he was already dealing with a lot and feeling down about the whole situation. However, when he saw what Suzanne had been sending me, he immediately switched to protective older brother mode. He assured me that he would handle the situation and told me to block her right away. He promised that she wouldn't bother me again and made it clear that he would take care of dealing with her behavior. It's been a priority for me to spend extra time with my nephew lately. With my brother and him set to fly back home in a couple of days, I want to make the most of our time together. Even though my nephew senses that something is off because Suzanne isn't around, being a child, he easily gets absorbed in his games and toys. For the sake of my adorable nephew, I hope everything turns out okay. Following my brother's advice, I have blocked Suzanne, so hopefully she won't be able to reach out to me anymore with her threats. I am focused on creating a more positive and comforting environment for my nephew during these uncertain times. After my brother and nephew flew back home, he confronted Suzanne about the situation. However, she continued to deny everything, despite the clear evidence we had. Frustrated and determined to get the truth, my brother decided to have a direct conversation with Chad. In this conversation, Chad confessed to everything. Chad revealed that Suzanne had expressed her love for him, and he reciprocated those feelings. According to Chad, he had no reason to continue hiding their affair. To my brother's shock, Chad disclosed that they had been involved romantically for over a year. This new revelation led to a heated and intense confrontation between David and Suzanne. Later, when my brother told us about his conversation with Chad, we were heartbroken for him as well. My dad urged my brother that it was high time for him to decide their marriage. My mother agreed and told my brother that no matter what he decided, we would all stand by him. I also reminded him that he should keep my nephew's best interest at heart because it was unhealthy for a child to be exposed to such toxicity. Two months later, David made the difficult decision to file for separation from Suzanne. The continuous fights had taken a toll on their relationship, and he realized there was nothing left to salvage. Unable to forgive Suzanne for her actions, and with Suzanne unwilling to confront her mistakes, it became clear that the best course of action was to part ways. As the legal process is still ongoing, Suzanne has been compelled to move out of David's home. The weight of her actions bore heavy consequences, and she faced the reality of losing her marriage. Despite the challenges, my family has remained a united front for David and my nephew. The emotional toll on David is visible, but he continues to exhibit strength and resilience, determined to provide a stable environment for his child, Daniel. Reflecting on the entire experience, I firmly believe that revealing Suzanne's affair was necessary for my brother's well-being and the protection of my nephew. The truth brought clarity and allowed my brother to realize that he was being mistreated. Throughout this ordeal, my family has grown closer and our support for one another has strengthened. I am grateful that we were able to face this difficult situation together and help David navigate this challenging chapter in his life. Thanks for watching till the end. Wishing you an awesome day. Feel free to drop a comment if you've got more to share. I'd love to hear from you.